Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing another Project Pan intro. Uh -huh. So let me start talking about it. Uh, so lately I've been thinking of doing starting another project that wasn't music related because I'm already in a music related Project Pan, but also had it was like a rolling Project Pan. Um, so I thought of the Bob's Burgers Project Pan. And this is where I have a list of the main characters, or most of the characters, um, and products that would go to them. So, you, you know, for like Jimmy Pesto, something that's an enemy or you don't like, or Bob, something he likes puns, uh, and he also, his colors are black or white, so it would be a product that is a pun name, or something that's black and white. Um, so yeah, I thought of starting this, creating this project, and I did invite, um, some other Instagram people did want to join this with me, so I was very happy with that. Um, so here is the Bob's Burgers Project fan. If you do want to join, you can absolutely join. I will leave the spreadsheet down below in the description box of the characters, and their descriptions if you don't really know Bob's Burgers. It's not... Not many people watch it. Um, but I just, I love the show. So, I mean, definitely go check the spreadsheet if you are interested. Definitely please join. Uh, the more the merrier. So anyway, let's get into the products. Um, so we've had, it's a rolling Proud Japan. And there's 13 characters... Oh no, more than 13. There's 22 characters that I put down as like the main characters. Um, and you can pick four to six characters and then pick a product for each character. So I picked for the intro, I think I picked, let's see, one, two, three, four, five products that um, relate to certain characters. So let me start off with the Sorry if I'm looking down, but my phone with the spreadsheet is on it. So I'm just going to be looking at that. So the first one is for the character Jimmy Pesto, and that is an enemy to Bob. To Bob's Burgers. And it's something, a product that you hate. And for that, I chose the Detox Charcoal Clear Skin Pore Strips by Bella Beauty. I got this at TJ Maxx a couple months ago. And I do not like this. Um, the smell is weird. It doesn't really get all your pores out. At least for me. Excuse me. Um, so that's why I don't like it. I do... Um, I think I have two left in here. Let me... Yeah, so I have two left of these in here. I can definitely finish this. Um, oh, and I forgot to tell you guys the date. I'm really out of... Uh, anyway, the dates uh, start from January 24th, which was two days ago. Sorry for the late upload. Till July 24th. So it is a six-month long project. Um, and once you finish a product, you ro roll another character in and pick a product for that. Anyway, back to the product. Um, yeah, I, I just, I don't like this. I don't. And since I only have two left and it came with ten, I think I can definitely finish this up. I just, I don't like it at all. I really don't. Alright, uh, the next character is... Oh my gosh. Uh, Gail, and she's kind of like that cat crazy lady, so she's kind of crazy, and I put a product that you're crazy for, and for that I put this uh, rhubarb and custard body survey by uh, the super drugstore website, I believe, or treat me, and this is what it looks like. I absolutely love this so much. 
Um, I did get this from a friend on Instagram. Um, and I am really glad that she got me this because, oh my gosh, it smells exactly like rhubarb pie. Like, oh, it just, it smells so good. And I've only, I had this for, I think, two or three months now. And I'm already down to, like, this line. And for me, for body lotions, that's pretty good. Um, actually, that's really good. So I can, I definitely think I can finish this up. Um, yeah, because I'm, I'm crazy for the solution. Like, I, like, I just, I love this smell so much. And it definitely works for my feet. I use it on my feet and my legs. All right. Oh, and for this, I just want to use it up completely. All right, and then the next character, let me, is Andy and Ollie. Now, Andy and Ollie are twins. They are Jimmy Pesto's kids. And they are, they're funny. <laughs> I really don't know how to explain them. I mean, they're, they're always with each other, so let's just put it that way. Uh, but since they are twins for this, for the category of a product, it would be a product that you have a backup of. You know, another product of the same thing. And for that, I picked the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Concealer in Light Ivory. You know, ignore the sticker, that's just remind me that this isn't a project. Um, but yeah, I have already got a backup of this. I absolutely love this concealer. Um, I did take the stopper out, and there's still a lot of product in this. I mean, and this I want to use completely up. Um, and this is like a medium coverage, which I do like. I don't like full coverage, it's just, it's really thick. I really don't like that on my skin. Absolutely love this. I... So that's what I picked for Andy and Ollie. Alright, so the next character is Zeke. And Zeke is a friend of Jimmy Jr. And if you don't know who Jimmy Jimmy Jr. is another kid from Jimmy Pesto. Um and Zeke uh loves to wrestle. He is you know, he's always with Jimmy Jr. He's the friend of Jimmy, Jr., best friend of Jimmy Jr. And for that, I picked, uh, since he loves to wrestle, a product they have a love-hate relationship, because I really didn't know what to put for Zeke. Um, the Zeke is one where, at first, like, throughout the show, you kind of, at least for me, you kind of don't really like Zeke, based on what Teen has to say about him. But then, like, towards the middle and the current seasons, it's he's getting more... I tend to like him better now. So I say a product they have a love-hate relationship. And for that, I picked the Blossom Cuticle Oil. It's infused with real flowers, and the scent is lavender. And it is basically full. <laughs> I've only used this a couple times. Since it is oil, like, I didn't realize, like, oh, it's going to be oily and greasy all over my hands. Um, but I do love that it is, like, lavender, and it's, it does help my cuticles. But it just, I don't like how it's oil. <laughs> um, but anyway, I just want to use until, like, the halfway mark, so, like, where the lettering is. Um... Yeah, I thought this would be a good product to put in uh, because I haven't really been using it lately. Alright, and then the last product or character is Felix, Fish Odor. Um, and Felix is the younger brother of Mr. Fish, Fish Odor, um, who owns all the businesses and the town, basically. <laughs> Um, and for Felix, I put down a product that is a knockoff of a high-end product. And for that, I picked this Elf Hydrating Water Essence. And this is where I am at as of right now. 
So I do want to finish this completely up. Originally, I wanted to only finish half of it. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, you know what? I think I can finish uh, all of it. I do like this. I do use this on in the morning and at night. I really do like it. Um, and I think, I can't remember what this is a dupe of. I want to say it's a dupe for a Too Faced or Estee Lauder product. But I know it is a high-end product, and this is a dupe for it. So I thought, you know what? Might as well use this up. And it's only $10, which is really cheap. So, those are the characters and products that I picked for this project pan. If you do want to join this, once again, I will leave the uh, spreadsheet, my spreadsheet with all the characters and descriptions of the characters uh, down in the description box below. Go check that out. Otherwise, guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.